Starting out with the chariot, this is being pulled in two directions. Now, this is always true about us as human beings, isn't it? Is even if we really want to do something, there's always a part of ourselves that's pulling us back from it, thinking like, oh, maybe it's not the best thing to do. You could be thinking about saying something to someone today and taking a chance on that and being courageous but there will be a part of you that goes don't do it don't say it you know just keep the status quo just stay as things are hello i'm claire louise hay from behealing.com i use the tarot in order to help you do your inner work and heal yourself and create the life that you really want to live this is today's tarot and it's for all signs and it's for the 16th which is a sunday of june 2024 i hope you're doing well I've got a membership on my channel now. I would love to have you as a member. You will get invited to private lives with me where I will be giving many readings. If you'd like to become a member, you'll find a join button down there somewhere, hopefully, <laughs> if it's working. What's in the energies for everybody today? We've got call forth the waves. So it's like, this is like bring it on kind of an energy. Bring it on, a spicier kind of a life, something, you know, a shake up. Um, get life going again if if life has been a little bit boring you know um, oh you're feeling courageous there's a courage card here so you could be feeling courageous like you might be shaking things up in fact you might want to say something to someone um, that perhaps you've been holding back and you're feeling courageous today have you been building up to something have you been practicing so, like in your mind saying something to someone chance you might have the chance to do it today take a chance be brave interesting energies mm. let's get some tarot out and find out more i offer private readings energy healings breakthrough sessions on my website behealing.com throughout this video i'll be popping links for those up there if you're interested in that go ahead book yourself in okay so the tarot today starting out with the chariot this is being pulled in two directions. Now, this is always true about us as human beings, isn't it? Is even if we really want to do something, there's always a part of ourselves that's pulling us back from it, thinking like, oh, maybe it's not the best thing to do. You could be thinking about saying something to someone today and taking a chance on that and being courageous, but there will be a part of you that goes, don't do it, don't say it, you know, just keep the status quo, just stay as things are. Being pulled in two directions, says the chariot. The high priest does, but intuitively you know something. You know something deep down. Now, the six of swords, the universe is trying to help you to get where you want to be, from A to B, from where you are right now to where you want to be. But there's this energy of heartbreak, three of swords. Now, this could be what's pulling you in two directions. It's like, oh, but what if my heart gets broken? What if I say that thing to that person and they, they don't respond or they don't um, you know, respond in an affirmative way to me? Let's see. Let's get deeper into this. So the chariot. Why have we got the chariot? Why are we being pulled in two directions? Because the universe is trying to move you forward. Okay, so the universe is on it. It's trying to move you from where you are to where you want to be. But you've got a little bit of reluctance inside of yourself. That little devil on your shoulder going, but what if? But what if it goes wrong? What if? Probably better just to do nothing and stay where you are right now, you know? But self-love. So being reminded here, the self-love behind this. But you do really want this, don't you? You want to... You want to head there. Notice the signs as well. These six of voices come out twice now, six of swords. And so recognize the signs. The universe is trying to move you to where you want to be. And so let, let signs that you've got about this movement forward that you're making or you should be making, let those signs give you some confidence that this is the universe saying, yes, this is the path to it. High Priestess, and anyway, intuitively you know, don't you? Intuitively you know. And the five of emotions is about defrosting your heart, opening your heart up, allowing good things to happen to you, allowing change to happen. There will always be change, right? And what you don't want is a tower moment. Tower moment is when the universe has to step in because you're not taking action on it. Tower moment happens, right? When we're getting many signs and we know and we've got this intuition and we know what we should do, but we don't do it. We still don't do it. And then the universe is like, mm, she's taking too long. We need to make this happen now. She can't remain stagnant this long. And the tower moment when the universe makes it happen, that sounds like a good thing, doesn't it? It's not. It's not because there's always a sting in the tail. There's always like, you know, we're forced to give up on something or, you know, it ends abruptly because we're shoved and it, it doesn't feel good. So open your heart to, your intuition is saying open your heart 
open your heart. Don't be closed down anymore. And that could be opening your heart to yourself as well because there's self-love behind it. It's like, this is what you want. Then love yourself enough to do it, to take a chance on yourself. Psychic development is behind that as well. Interesting. So not only are you getting signs to move forward, but it's also psychic development. So it's also helping you to believe in your intuition more, believe in that gut feeling more, that it is heading you in the right direction. And so some of you, you might have be doubting a little bit about your intuition because sometimes we follow our intuition and then we have lessons we have hard lessons and it can have us doubting our intuition anyway six of swords the universe is trying to get us from a to b it's trying to get you from where you are right now to where you want to be ace of materials planting seeds music emotions perhaps with someone that you've got feelings for and that's got feelings for you as well that's the king of cups so planting seeds there so some of you are trying to get into a romantic relationship but the heartbreak of the past is that devil on your shoulder saying no don't do it it's just going to hurt again and it has you stop but stopping yourself from actually taking that action slow but steady give yourself grace here give yourself grace in other words it's okay for it to be slow it's okay for you to little by little opening up your heart here be gentle with yourself we shouldn't be mean to ourselves right and beating ourselves up for not taking actions and you know it's like oh i didn't say that thing to them again what's wrong with me that beating ourselves up and expecting too much of ourselves it's not nice love yourself instead and take it slowly and give yourself grace and go yeah i'm scared that's why that's why i'm taking my time it's because i'm scared and give yourself a hug three of swords because we've been through some bad things right devil and that's what brings up the fears we wouldn't have fear if we hadn't been through the heartbreak right but that's where the fears originate from is the stuff that we've been through and so go gentle with yourself love yourself today give yourself a hug it's hard life is really hard it is and love makes us very vulnerable in order to get into um, a loving relationship we need to be vulnerable we need to put our heart out there and it's hard it's hard to do that because there's not many people that are going to take care of our hearts when we do that and so we've got to be choosing very wisely right we've got reunion of souls grounding and truth behind that it could be someone that's right for you now though and it's time to take action on that ground yourself perhaps this is your person but always like listen to the truth as well both inside of you and that someone else is telling you as well Give yourself time, some of you as well, to get to know somebody better so that you are seeing the truth of them rather than what you want to see about them. Let's get deeper into it. What about our love lives? Because I do feel like for a lot of you, I'm talking about love lives here. It just feels that way to me as a reader. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So being true to yourself, like yesterday we did have that new tribe kind of an energy, people that are your kind of people. And so the more you are yourself and being true to yourself, the more you'll bring in your kind of people. And hopefully one of those will be a love match for you and wanting a romantic relationship, um, that the kind of romantic relationship that you want. Step into your power. There does seem to be action to be taken today, especially communication. Action to be taken. Be all powerful. Go for what it is that you want. I'll take those two, I was told. I'm just going to put these two back. Let's find out what they are. Guarded heart because of codependency. Okay, so it wasn't you just choosing wrongly in the past. You also had codependent ways as well. So your guarded heart is because you had codependency previously. And codependency, it can, it can have us thinking like, oh, I always choose the narcissist. But really, it's... Um, a narcissist is a match to the overgiver or an overtaker is a match to the overgiver and we need to focus on our part in it. Okay, so how can I stop being an overgiver? Why do I feel the need to prove myself in relationships? Am I not enough as I am? You know. And we've got commitment and confusion. Some of you could be confused about whether you want commitment or whether someone else wants commitment or how, mu how much commitment that you want and all of that kind of thing. Could be confused about what it is that you truly want here. Tell us what else. Or someone else could be confused about whether they want commitment or not. Or whether they are available to commit to. Could be.
could be other things going on in someone's life that takes a precedence, you know, like work or something like that. Family. Dark man, dealings or relationship with a man, dark hair perhaps. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. And we've got an archway, new opportunities, possibilities and paths opening up. Think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer, but it's just a bit of fun. If you do want a private reading that's personal to you, book yourself in. I'll pop a link for it up there. You can find a link for that in the description box and in the comments below too. Well, how best to deal with these energies today? Oh, it's all about communication, see? King of Cups, someone that's got feelings for you, you've got feelings for them. Knight of Swords. Swords are about communication. It's about thoughts as well. If you're thinking of saying something, do it. Be courageous and say something. You need to say something to someone you've got feelings about today. Do it. Take the chance. Remember, chance card came out. Take the chance that you've got. Allow the sea to wash its chest of wonders ashore. You never know what the tide might bring in. Think of a yes or no answer question now. Your answer is... Yes, go for it. See? There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. That really helps my channel out. Join as well if you want to become a member. I'd love to have you as a member as well. Um, well, that's it. Have a great day. Have the best day ever, in fact, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.